Hello, everybody, and welcome to Joyful Miles. Oh my gosh, this is like our fifth try doing an introduction. Is <laughs> Jackie? It's been so long, but we are here, and we're gonna have some fun today. Hello, Jackie. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see you, Laura, and to do this again. It's been a while, and um, I've missed everybody, but. Um, we took a break. It was good. We needed it. And, and here we are. We're going to reminisce and have a great time today. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. And now that we finally got through the introduction, that <laughs> we could have some really great okay. outtakes in this <laughs> video, but we're good. We powered <laughs> through it. Introduction is done. And now we can just jump in right. and yeah. have some fun. So um, we have put together a fun running we're going to list the questions below in the description box. If anybody else wants to do this tag personally, we are tagging Kimberly Estabrook, right, Jackie? <laughs> yes, Kimberly. She's one of the costume, uh, one of the best out there. So Kimberly, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on um, these questions and the costumes you've done over the years. I think she, she definitely beats us as far as amount of costumes. I will never, Kimberly has my respect, and she got it from, like, our very first race weekend when she was dressed as Woody in Disneyland when it was, like, 8 That's billion right. degrees, and that girl rocked that whole, those boots and everything. I was just like, oh, my gosh, she has to be dying here, but she, she wore it like a champ. She pushed through, so. And weren't we wearing, like, Monsters Cheerleaders uniforms and... She was dressed, she was dressed as Monsters like, Inc. too. Yeah, she was Sully and we were the cheerleaders. We had just met, which was just crazy right. that we, we meshed. And then for the half, we were Jessie and she was Woody. So it was, it was perfect. Yes. And we all ran together and looked like we planned it. It's like running <laughs> costume match made in heaven. <laughs> so we, I can't wait to see what she does and what anyone else does. And if you... Do it, please uh, use a hashtag um, running costume tag. Let's jump in, Jackie, because if not, we're going to like chat for an hour. All right. Question number one. What's question number one? Your first running costume. All right. So this isn't my first half. It took me a, a couple races to be confident to wear a costume. But my first running costume, and I still love it, uh, was the um, Mary Poppins chimney sweep costume, which that race, I will never forget every single detail about it. But it was super fun, loved it, made the homemade chimney sweeps, carried mine a full 13 miles, so proud of that. And um, it was a really, really fun race costume. What about you? That was for the 2014 Splash and Dash, right? Yeah. Wine and Dine? Yes, splash and dash. Okay. The, the black face makeup was all smeared by the end. I looked like a legit chimney sweeper by the end. <laughs> but you held on to your sweep. You did not throw away your broom. Oh, I worked too hard on that. So I'm impressed. <laughs> exactly. Okay, mine was, I had to actually go through my pictures because I couldn't quite remember. Mine was actually Gestant from the 2014 Tower of Terror. And oh. I was so proud of this costume. And making that felt collar, like making the collar in proportion and everything, it just took me the long, I think everything takes me longer than the average person. <laughs> but that was really fun. I love that costume. It's kind of like perfect for the theme too. Yeah, that's a good villain. So, all right, we're going to get into some frustration here. Your hardest costume to make. <laughs> well, I broke this into two categories. I say I've been very lucky that you've taken um, the reins with making most of my costumes over the years. Um, I think for me personally, that one of the most frustrating or hardest was our stepsister costume, which was the uh, half marathon, I think, or was it? Yeah, the half marathon. Yeah, for 2018 Sophie. Stoopy Challenge. Yes. Um, I think the hardest thing, we could not find tank tops that matched the color scheme, at least that was really hard. And then you, I think you had to make the puffy sleeves and the little things that go on the bunting that goes on the skirts and we couldn't do it ahead of time because you had to like do it while I was wearing it so you know being a race weekend and trying to work on costumes at the race is never ever fun to do so remember not only did we have to find the tank tops also we, we remember you had to find the long sleeves too because yeah. it turned ice cold so you're That's like true. these long sleeve shirts for us 
I forgot that. I I spent so much money and returned so many tank tops and we ended up wearing long sleeves anyway. (laughs) Oh, that was so frustrating. And in the room, I I know I was wearing pissy pants because I was mad at myself for not getting it done earlier. Because usually like whenever I get intimidated by something, I procrastinate. That is just my way for everything. So, so that was definitely, I have an honorable, that's mine too. That's definitely my Mm -hmm. hardest. And that is the royal mini ears that I made for everyone for the last princess half. I put up the picture. They were so incredibly hard to make. Um, thank God my mom helped. I'm up there burning myself right and left with the hot glue gun. I'm cursing. She's searching in her fridge for a beer to give me. <laughs> it was just so frustrating. But I, I'm, I'm going to do um, a hardest but funnest because funnest should be a worse that one was so fun to make it took a long oh time my gosh. that costume like is craft. that's a gorgeous gorgeous costume yeah that, you that did costume. such a good job on those I remember your hands were like so burned up from all the little uh, patches that you had to sew on there but it looks so podge good of it all but that, it was worth it and that was a fun like I was early too I actually filmed a vlog while I was doing it too so that was fun so that was hard but fun Okay, three, your most uncomfortable costume that I'm sure you sucked it up and wore it anyway because we're professionals. <laughs> this one was weird for me because we, we've been pretty good at making sure we're comfortable. Um, the USO girl for me was tough because my belt kept riding up. So yeah. anytime we'd actually like run, um, my belt would ride up to my chest. Um, but other than that, I um, added one that wasn't a Disney race. I did the Shawshank Hustle. And me, um, our friends, Meredith and Juanita, we dressed up as the poster girls. And I was oh, yeah. Marilyn Monroe. And that Marilyn Monroe, it wasn't that it, was unco- it wasn't uncomfortable, but I couldn't really run in it because I couldn't wear a normal like sports bra. So that one right. we went into knowing we we're going to have to walk most of this. So those are my two. So you don't have race pictures of you like cupping <laughs> No, I did get like this halter sports bra. Thank God that worked good enough, but not enough to be hustling down the hills of Ohio. Nope. No, no. Mine is definitely the sorority sisters from the 2018 princess, not the costume, but the wig. I have sensory (laughs) issues. Like if if anyone touches, like squeezes my fingers or my toes, I kind of like go crazy. So to have this thing squeezing like a vice grip on my head, the entire race, I could not wait to get that sucker off. Could not wait. <laughs> I had sadly, no one doubt that I you were going to pick that one. <laughs> I, did a, I did a video about all the complaining I did. So I had to be on the top of the list. <laughs> oh, the things we do for a good costume. You look good. Okay. Um, num- number four. This is going to be hard for me to pick my favorite. Your favorite collection of weekend costumes, if I'm wording that correctly. Like, you That's know, good. your Tim Gunn moment the collection mine was actually really easy um and that for me was avengers weekend because i i loved spider-man miss marvel and uso to me that was like each race to me was so perfect yeah i I have a tie between that and the disneyland paris costumes i I that was close that was close up there i loved our disneyland paris costumes so much i mean we we brought our a game to that Tinkerbell being a night race was just yeah so amazing. It lit up and it was it it really everything turned out amazing for that that weekend. Definitely a yeah. close runner up for me. That's that's definitely a toughie. All right, number five. I actually can't really think of one for this. So I'm hoping to bounce an idea off you. But your least favorite costume? Yeah. Okay. This one's actually, it turned out cute. It was our, for me, the hardest one that we had to plan. Um, And I think out of frustration, we just came up with this idea and it it turned out cute, but all the fails that we had before that. Now where you're going. Was, um, I think it was Wine and Dine 10K 2018, I believe. When um, we initially were going to be like German girls. No, before that, that Sebastian. Oh yeah, we're gonna be Sebastian from from Little Mermaid. Then yeah. we were gonna be like German girl. Like we spent so much money and time, and like we returned stuff. But then of course I I bought things that weren't returnable because I never look at it. 
And then finally, we went with just a very simple turquoise sparkle athletic and we had the shell, which it, it turned out really pretty and it looked really cute, but it just wasn't, I think, what we wanted initially. And it was kind of like a, we settled and it turned out great. But if I yeah. had to pick, we've had some really good ones. That's probably my least favorite because we just didn't have our heart into it. It was kind of like, let's do something. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, I was I was actually going to go with um, Haunted Mansion from 2017's Disneyland Half Marathon Weekend. Yeah. But then when I was looking at the group picture of all of us, I was like, oh, but no, no. They made the aprons for everybody. And I don't know. So I kind of, I yeah, think, that okay. That was like something that I thought would be better. I was more excited about it. But we were so new to it. So I kind of give us like credit in the fact yeah. that like we were new to the costume game so I think yeah. considering our lack of experience we did pretty good with that but um had we had we do that now we'd probably jazz oh, it up yeah. a lot more it's hard with the dark costumes and that goes back even with my chimney sweep you look at the pictures and it's like you're wearing all these dark yeah. and they just don't they don't show really well in the photographs so I, I think like if we were to do hot and mansion maybe add more purple or green instead of just mm -hmm. so much black to it so, yeah, uh, jazz it up a little bit. All right, number. Oh, let me put the glasses back on. I was I was tired of the glare from my light, but <laughs> not happening. Number six, underdog costume, one that you didn't know would turn out so great. Um, for me, I, I picked Miss Marvel. I don't know. I I because it was kind of basic, but when we came together, it looked really like we yeah. Looked, good you know I didn't know how we'd look with and with our hair down and then the face mask and the red sash like it you know it was hard that, that bolt was so nice. in the, it really turned out when I was making my the lightning bolt I was like oh my god my so my glue job was so awful and at least you went the right way together, and you weren't backwards like me <laughs> no one's ever known I want to redo that costume just for that but that, that, that was great. I was actually thinking, I have Spider-Man. Because that was like the okay. easiest one to do. And it was kind of like our girl's going to be our dud of the weekend. And it actually yeah. turned out really cute. And I have, um, the, I actually used the Wine and Dine 2 from 2018. Just because we went through Sebastian with me trying all those god-awful hats. And then you looking like, you know, Christmas elf in your <laughs> German girl costume. Yeah. Do you have that? Picture? Oh my gosh. I got to find that picture. I got to find that picture that you sent me. Remember okay. Sarah was like, I will give you permission to post it if you have it. Cause it's so bad. It was, so was not horrible. gonna, it was not a good look. So no. So here we go for number seven, biggest costume fail. So this, this is where I put the German gals, but I'm going to add okay, a, a so different one from 2017 okay. Disneyland half weekend. When I was uh, the stork, everyone thought I was Thomas, the tank conductor. <laughs> Did not translate. Did not translate at all. Yeah, I wasn't a fan. Again, we were so new. I mean, it was it 2016? That was kind of, we were really fresh to the costume game. My Dumbo was yeah. horrible, too. It was so bad. My sew job, it was so it was terrible. great. It, it was, was really great. bad. That, that was, was definitely a fail. I think for me. So this was going to be hard for me to narrow down, but number eight, most fun costume. Costume you had the most fun in. I, I, I picked two for this one. Um, first one is Elvis. Yeah. It was such a, um, a random pick for a costume in a Disney race, but we laughed so hard. I mean, literally repeat her pants laughing so and that had to do with the, all had to do with the costume I have that's to insert why that, that clip of us at the bus stop where I'm I'm just like oh my losing God. my crap Because 
Rob's wig Rob in the was car. like <laughs> going in all directions. I, I just lost. And my like, crap. think about any other costume that wouldn't have happened. Those that laughing to that extent. Oh, it was one of my favorite memories ever. So yeah, I'm gonna stand by Elvis. We had a lot. I had a lot yeah. of fun when we were the um, Monsters Inc. cheerleaders. But I didn't laugh like that hard as I did with with Elvis. Yeah. He, he wins for me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one from Princess. We've had some great princesses. We had probably was the mini cheerleaders where we had actual cheerleading costumes. It was just like, they were kind of like pricey, but worth it. And it was just one of those fun races where it just clicked. So I have to put that one in there. Did not pee my pants, thank God. As- <laughs> yeah, that could have been bad. <laughs> I would not want yeah. to pee in that costume. That cheerleading was costumes, we've done a few over there. there. There's something like when you're running and you're dressed like a cheerleader, it's so fun because you could just be super like loud and make up random cheers and engage the people around you. So they're fun, really fun costumes. All right, nine favorite group costume. Oh, okay, group costume. Yes. Um, I'm going to go with the French girl. Yeah. Did you pick that? Well, I, I have that in my last question. So I'm going to be using oh, okay. that one. So I'm going with, um, I have some honorable mentions because there were so many aliens. I loved aliens, the way that all came together. That was a really fun, that was a huge group. Like what, like 40 people or something? And yeah. Dalmatians. I love the Dalmatians. Yeah, yeah it was mm, 2019 10K, I think. Yeah, the 10K. Jillian put that costume together and that was really fun. And again, a lot of people joined in and I just yeah, love it. Yeah, we would just be running and you'd be like, puppies, puppies, group. puppies. There was like, you would just randomly right, right. find puppies in the group and get pictures. And that was super fun as well. Bang up job at that one. And I did love the, the costume. If only that wig, oh, yeah, that <laughs> wig. I will never wear that wig again. All right, number 10, a costume you want to repeat and why? Um, For me, I added aliens for that one. Um, That was my aliens repeater because we did it. It was cold. We were all bundled up. I would love to do it in warm weather and it looked so cute. It was a great costume. Being warm, that would make a huge huge difference when you're not wearing a thousand layers, even all the... Uh, there's so many costumes from Marathon Weekend that I would like to redo do just to be able to do it the way we saw it in the beginning. Yeah. I'm going with French gals though, because that was a really easy yeah. costume. We had great tank tops. It was comfortable. I love the berets. The berets were super cute. So I would, and the Wilderness Explorers. I would want to do yeah. that one. I, that one was just because it just turned out so cute. I want to turn your sash the right way and fix that. <laughs> I want to find the patches that we lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's another one that I'd like to redo. All right. Number 11, a favorite costume you've seen. This is hard. I actually um, remembered, I think it's the girls runs in tutus. Is that what you mean? Like pick someone whose costumes I've seen and been like, wow, that's awesome. You absolutely loved yeah they did um from the movie newsies and they were like the the newspaper they had the like paper bags and they had the little page boy caps and they looked so cute i was like i would love to do a costume like that it was kind of like that would be like that would be a great one you have to help me well okay first is kimberly's when she did the beach club mini from the wine and dine i think from 2000 oh yeah that turned out so pretty how they pulled that off i don't know And also, you're going to have to help me with this one. Um, We were in Disneyland. I think it was the 2017 Disneyland uh, 5K. And it was the gal from that one podcast, um, Not Real Runners. And she was, uh, what is it, um, Stinky Pete? Oh, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? The box? Yes. She had the huge box. And she had the overalls and the beard. Like, she literally was dressed. And it was like 90 degrees out. I don't know how she did that. My gosh. I wouldn't want to do that. I would not survive. But. No, I, but that was a good cast too. That was a big chef's kiss there. All right. We've come to the last question, Jackie. The top five favorite costumes. Now we did, uh, I think it was like September 2018, where we did our, our favorite running costumes up until that point. 
So we're doing it differently. I'm going to let you go first because you're doing costumes from the very start. You're doing any costumes and I'm going to do the ones from 2018 on. So you go first with your top five. All right. Actually, most of mine are kind of newer. So I have, and I picked, um, let's see, let me start. I picked French girls because I still love that costume. I love yeah. the beret. Like you said, the tank top was so comfortable. So I still love that. I wear that again. Monster University cheerleader. So fun. So cute. Yeah. Easy. I picked uh, Marie from Paris. I love the yeah. pink and the, the pink beret. And I love Marie. So I really think that's cute. And I also picked our Jolly Holiday costume from Paris because that yeah. really pulled together. We looked, um, we looked incredible. And my number one is still my number one. It'll probably always be my number one. And that's our USO girl costume. Um, I don't know if we'll ever top that. That one was just I don't, perfection. That was just perfection. Yeah, it was, there was so much to it. It was the experience, the last race of Disneyland. I think, but I think those are my five. I'm, it could change on a daily basis on my mood. But I mean, and I'm always going to love our mini dots for marathon. But to yeah. me, it's, you know, it's just something we're always going to wear. That's just tradition. But um, when it comes to actually like, costume costumes, those are my top five. Yes, yes, they're such good costumes. I now I want to. I have some repeat from the 2018 Wine and Dine on. And number five is the I have Marie. I did love the Marie from Disneyland Paris because it was pink and the berets, and it was perfect for Paris and the theme. And then um, I want to do like we did um, Minnie's uh, birthday, which oh, yeah. only like the really good Disney enthusiasts know and then Royal Mini this past year so we had two years of Mini and Tutus so I want to pick one of those and I'm going with the Mini's birthday because that was um it was really cute even though and it was comfortable Sarah made these big poofs the Tutus and oh my gosh we did the bubble thing and that took all oh, that took a lot of work too but I yeah, just love that costume um number th our tank costumes from Disneyland Paris because yeah. They turned out perfect. It was a night race. We were all lit up so we could find each other easy. That was the biggest thing too. Number two is the fair God, fairy godmothers that were teal and the pink bows. And the ears are like one of my favorite ears that I've ever made. Like I had a little wand in it and it just looks so great in photographs, even though we all didn't have the same armband. So if I'm going to be picky, which I always am, <laughs> next time we would have the same arm anyway but number one is going to be the French girls just because it was cute it was comfortable so many people participated it looked amazing with all of us together and it was just it was a fantastic race and I did finally get the race recap done for that one anyone interested I'll put the link above and in the description box so I got to give that my number one but overall out of all the costumes it's still USO girls yeah Hope you enjoy it. We enjoyed it because you know I always love a good tag. I kind of come back to kind of get used to doing YouTube again and making videos again and start with the fun tag. It was a good way to kind of like get back in the groove of things, you know? Yeah. They're, they're fun. Oh, gosh, we haven't done a tag in a long time. I always remember, didn't yeah. we do one in like Philadelphia sitting in the hotel bed? Yeah. Like, what did we do one? I don't even know what it was, but I remember I had no idea tag. what a tag was. Yeah. That was a, yeah, I, was, I didn't even know what I was supposed to do. So what am I doing? It was fun. Yeah, Rob and I were like, glug, glug, glug. And before that, let's do a tag. Okay. And then um, we did the, we started the Run Disney tag too with um, Heather. It's so a fun way to get like ideas of what kind of videos to do because it's hard right now. There's not, obviously a lot of races happening and um, COVID's kind of weird. So it's kind of a fun way to yeah. get back out there and, and chat with others and join up. It's fun. This was cool. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, very glad. And just like, just so people kind of know what's going on with Joyful Miles, we need to take a step back and take a break because it is so easy to get burned out from any type of, you know, platform, any type of YouTube channel. I'm definitely like warn all the, the other ones, out, other people out there who are vlogging, just to really make sure to fill your well and to not, you know, to make sure that you still have joy to do it. So 
our, yeah. what we're doing now is we're going to cope focus on joy and doing the things that bring us joy, like videos, little chats yeah. like this. No pressure. Like yeah. it, it felt like there became a point where there was just a lot of pressure. And at that point, like you said, you lose the joy. Yeah. So I think we just needed to pull back and, you know, regroup. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's good. And not being on yeah. a, we're not going to be on a schedule. So there's no set posting yeah. schedule, you know, when we get together and do one, do it's we want, be fun. When we want. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's our new mantra is, is no rules. No rules. So that's, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support throughout the years and the people who've been leaving lovely comments on the recap videos that we're slowly getting out there. Um, mm -hmm. We truly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And as always, joyful day. Oh my gosh. You know what would make this perfect? What? Singing. Oh my gosh. It's been a while. Do you okay. remember? <laughs> Ready? Joyful <laughs> that it or no that was so good you cut out the audio for a second there damn it ready <laughs> my kids are gonna be like you help me up doing right. that i had a break for how many <laughs> oh gosh good times good time uh, take care bye everyone thanks for watching